Hi everyone, YouTube land, and thanks for joining us again on another edition of our DC set. We're looking at the Super Friends now, and as any of you may know, this is Paulette, and I love rabbits. Rabbits are my favorite. Did I tell you that my first real love stuffed toy was a rabbit? And I miss it. I wish I still had it. It was a great little stuffed toy. So this is Paulette. Now Paulette is one of their staple characters. Staple characters. She's always in the store. Um, they had her dressed up in all different fashions. She is the Build a Bear Rabbit. They even have a new style of Paulette called the Kubu, and it has Paulette and two other characters, and they have these really, really cute outfits. And so I've debated getting them because they have the big, like, kind of Japanese animation, you know, heads and their smaller bodies, which is just amazing. But this is Paulette, and to complete my rabbit set and the staple characters that they collect, that they make, I had to get her because when I first started collecting the Super Friends, Batman and Superman, first of all, I saw the two other costumes. And for months I debated, do I get Supergirl and Batgirl costumes? So eventually, after so long, after I started collecting enough of my set and another character that I got before her, you'll see shortly, I eventually got the two different outfits and bought Paulette. She's adorable. So this is a Supergirl outfit, as you can see. And it's a cute little outfit. Again, they've been made several incarnations of this. Some that are a little bit more sparkly. Some that have a little more detail in the belt. So you'll just have to be looking online. Uh, I think after I researched it, all the girls had brand new costumes. So this might actually be a discontinuant. I can't remember. But this is one of the many versions of the super good costume you can collect. I like this little embossed uh, emblem on the front, which is a Superman emblem. And, of course, as you see, she's wearing iconic red boots. This made it for me. When I actually saw the red boots, I actually was thinking about buying Superman. And I'm like, when I saw the red boots, and I saw this kid was carrying around one with red boots on it, I'm like, gotta get a Superman bear. And that was the day I realized he had bought the last Superman bear. I was very upset. <laughs> so I always told myself, if I ever brought that back out, they brought Superman bear back out, gotta put the red boots on him. You gotta have the boots for Superman. Otherwise, it's just not Superman. So Supergirl's the same thing. And as you all well know, Supergirl is Superman's cousin. Okay? Also from Krypton, same abilities, everything else, um, just slightly less fast, slightly less strong. Again, because again, I guess because they figure you know females they are kind of the same as they are here, a little less strong. So that's why they did that. I don't know, because Superman has to be Superman. He was kind of the, the symbol for DC for decades. It's cool. Her little cape comes around like this, so you can like suit her up in her outfit first, and then wrap the cape around her. And most of them are going to be like that with your Batman ones, your Superman ones. So the outfit sets up so you can, wear, you can dress them pretty quickly and then bring the cape around as a little velcro right here to hook it to the other side. And just have a little bunch like it does in the, in the capes in the movies and so it looks really cool. Did you also know that for a long time she was a clone? Yes, believe it or not, Supergirl, for whatever given reason, I, I can't remember exactly, I have to research it, maybe I'll tell you next time, died in the comics. She did die in the comics. And so Lex Luthor, who was actually a clone of himself, ironically enough, was in the process of making clones, Supergirls. So apparently Lex Luthor was dying of a rare disease and so he, he developed cloning. He was, got real good at cloning and developed his own clones. Like he looked, might have looked when he was way younger before we all knew him as the Lex we know today. Big, long, red, like long flowing red hair. And he actually placed his own mind into one of his clones and passed himself off as the son of Lex who then made clones of this little girl here, Supergirl. So when there was a time when the world was in trouble again and Superman had to save everything, he pitted Supergirl. Oh, that's right. Was that when his powers were mixed up? I think so. No, it was, no, it was Doomsday. Right. Don't give me, I'm losing my mind here. So there was this great, um, this awesome comic book series, Doomsday, in 1993, and I collected the whole thing. It was freaking amazing. Or Doomsday, as you all know in the cartoon, as they did a recreate, came uh, from, he was an alien, I guess, that we had contained underground, as it was the comic shows, in this suit that kept him from, his bones from growing and making him really strong, and so he burst out and wreaked havoc in a JLA that we brought in, which was like a third generation JLA, it wasn't the original JLA, so if it was the original JLA, he wouldn't have fared so well. But Superman was the one they called originally to bring in to take him down, and this is how we find out that she's a clone, because when she went up against Doomsday, he punched her in the face, and her face was made of clay. Don't ask me. I don't know. It just like it completely exploded. The clone was destroyed with one punch by Doomsday, and then Superman had to come in and save the day. 
So it's crazy. So she was a clone for I think she's been brought back in the comic books, but as you all know, when they deal with timelines, alternate universes, they always bring the staple characters back because we love them, we miss them. And Paula is just adorable. Dressed as her favorite superheroine, Supergirl. Awesome. So you guys got to stay tuned if you want to see more superheroes from the DC Universe. So again, like and subscribe. Leave your comments. What do you think about Paulette and her outfit? And we'll see you guys again tomorrow. So join us again. See you later. Bye.